Hello YouTube, this is Andy on CamReX, Korean American Reacts. Uh, for those that do not know, I'm a Korean American that uh, listened to Korean music since the late 1980s to the early 2010s, and then I just kind of stopped and I fell off. Uh, so I'm here filling in my not my blah, blah, my knowledge, uh, my lost the lost music I have missed for the last five to ten years, and I'm discovering it all back, and I've been told. I've been recommended this group several times, so I thought I'd just, just try it out, pull the trigger on it. Uh, it's called Pixie, and the video is a uh, music video villain. I'm hearing they are a, like a rock influenced group, which sounds uh, right on my alley considering how much I like uh, Dreamcatcher. So yeah, let's see what, the, what they're all about. Villain. Pixie has been Pixie has been Blood in a music video. Well, maybe uh, this is not the right song. <laughs> Doesn't sound anything like Dreamcatcher or have any rock. It's kind of groovy though. Okay, second verse I'm more into. The first verse I felt. Is that girl Korean? The one that just passed? This girl is Korean. Hmm. I like her delivery. The rapper, I mean. It's a violent video. I like their attitude on this uh, video. She's tall compared to the others. Just throwing my thoughts out there. The hell, that was all freaking violent. Um, I will watch this too, recording behind. Um, villain. More content on villain. I. 
I have to listen to the song uh, multiple times because uh, my initial reaction is I don't like the song. <laughs> um, rather, the second half of the song was great. The first half of the song, I feel like, was very boring. Um, there was a lot of monotone rap, fast talking, singing. It was all monotone. It was all like the same note basically with the first half of the song. So I was like, did I hear that right? Because the second half of the song sounded so much more dynamic and some dynamic and so much more uh better so did i hear that right <laughs> or or uh what's going on pixie has been reborn yeah it's just I'm not enjoying this uh, two different singers singing the same note for the whole time. Okay. The pre chorus is not the same note <laughs> but then we go back to that in the chorus or pre-chorus and then it's the same note on the chorus this is why it... okay So I don't know anything about the group. I'll do it. I'll have to do a profile. It's been so long since I've done one. Uh, a roll call. But the girl in the cargo pants. She's catching my eye a lot. Okay, see, the second half of the song I'm really enjoying. I'm starting to feel like I have a pattern on the people that draw my attention a lot, uh, and potentially because my bias for the girl groups. No, maybe I don't have that. A pattern. I don't know. I like this girl's delivery. Her rap style, I should say. I thought the tall girl and the rap girl, the girl, the girl that just rapped, were the same people for a while. They're not. I thought they're staying right by each other. So it wasn't me just being crazy about uh, the song sounding different. Excuse me. It was not just my imagination about not liking the first half of the song. Basically, we got two choruses, I guess. Um, and it's incredibly monotone. Let's see. Oh, roll call. Let's see, K profiles. Who are these girls? It's a six member girl group? Six members? One, two, three, four, five. Maybe someone's taking a break. Oh, these. 
who's I can't tell who's who with this picture. She's obviously the one that's taking time off. She's the leader. Ah, shoot. There's a Ella. She's the leader and the main vocalist. Yeah, she's on hiatus. Okay. That sucks. <laughs> um, that really sucks if you your leader and main vocalist is uh is taking time off. Um, I hope she feels better soon. But you know, for the group's future, that really sucks. She's a former member and leader of Cherry Bullet under the stage name Bide. Bide means future. Ella, that doesn't mean anything in Korean. Kim Gyeongju. Why don't they just call her Gyeongju? Um, she left Cherry Bullet on December 2019. They decided to terminate her exclusive contract for personal reasons. Hmm. She's 98, so she's 24, 25 in Korean age. I heard they're getting rid of that international age, uh, the, the Korean age bullcrap. <laughs> she was in Star for Star Edition. She likes steak and. Oh, she's friends with Xion. She's make be, she might be doing a lot of walking around the street if she's if personal reasons and stress. I joke. It's serious. I apologize. Uh, Lola. Che Yujong. Main rapper and visual. She's the main rapper. They both have good delivery. They all both have similar energies to uh, this rapper and the other rapper. That I was commenting on. She is tall. She's 171. She's the last member to join the group. She's from Busan. She was former member of stage. Che Yujong. Reki Mekis doesn't mean much to me. She is a former trainee under OUI. Interview with Queendom series. She appeared as Che Yujong, her real name. Uh, a lot of the extra information usually doesn't make sense to me. Satbyeol. Satbyeol. Ah, freak. Definitely don't look the same. <laughs> I was. I, I, I'm trying to figure why I was confused with the. Uh, Anyways, she is from Chengju. Favorite foods, a lot of them. She likes singing songs by Poor Four. I know Poor Four. They're Poor Bai Gan Sachungi or something like that, right? And of course, I know how you. She dislikes salty or greasy foods. Um, we have a problem. She likes to coordinate coordinate outfits. She was a mixed nine contestant. Isn't mixed nine? I don't know what mixed nine is. She appeared in a drama, drama, chubby romance and chubby romance too. Why? Uh, she likes to play the guitar, sing and write lyrics. <sighs> How she is relieve her stress. Spend time alone. My spirit animal, or my my spiritual kin. She's not an animal. She's more of a listener and isn't, isn't very good at talking. Oh, her gums that get itchy when she's nervous. That's a weird. Hmm. Earrings. Was this the girl that is um, in the camel pants? Che Eun-ji is, uh, her stage name is Tia. She has a brother. She has five siblings. She's trained for four years education. She auditioned uh, for Keep Up Star season five. Season five. Did I watch season five? I know, like, I know Keep Up Star, but was there a season five that I watched? I thought I maybe. Uh. 
and Sua. She's the fifth member to join the group. She was born in Busan. Uh, she used to do ballet. She's very family oriented. And Tajong. She's the Mangne. Fourth member to join the group. She's former marbling. I don't she she was a model for under Cookie Maru. She's very pretty. Very striking face. Yeah. I don't know if I they need to draw her eyeliner so far out. I think she's pretty without that. She's a cat person. She eats pineapple on pizza. Yes. I don't hate it, but I definitely don't think it needs to be there. She wants to try gray. I'm pretty sure she'll get the opportunity. I agree. Just a lot of ego. Okay, I've pretty much forgotten all the members now. There's a Ella. There's a Setgar. I know I'm missing one. There's a Tajong. I need help. <laughs> Ella. Lola, Lola, Lola. I'm not gonna remember that. Lola. This is gonna be a hard one for me. Sepia. This is the easy one. Taya. Dia. Tia. Tia. Sua. Oh, your, your name should be easier to remember, but there's only one Sua in my life. Um, Ted Tajong, and then yeah, okay. So there's a Tajong, there's a Sua, there's a I just there's a Ella, there's a Scepter, there's a Lola, there's a Tia. Aha, so there's a Ella, there's a Ella. Lola Sepia Tia Tia Tajong and there's a shoot it's right in front of Sua see I'm gonna I'm gonna struggle with Sua this is only one Sua. Let's get let's get some content. Uh, we'll try that again later. So they're all Korean. What that for sure? Um, this girl. Then she's got very striking. She kind of reminds me of like a Yoon from Stacy. This girl's got a very her her facial structure isn't too Korean. I'm not saying she's not Korean. I just was told that she's Korean, but. <laughs> So that's Tajong. Oh, the names are there. Great. Dora. Or Lola. There's Tajong again. There's Tia. So the the girl that caught my attention is Tia. I feel like she's gonna catch a lot of people's eyes. That's Sua, the one I'm struggling to remember. She kind of. Sorry guys. 
She kind of reminds me of Han from Stray Kids. Just kind of. You're a sitter. It's a fairly groovy song. Once I get past the uh, the monotone part of the first verse and then to the first chorus, um, there's a pre-chorus between there that changes it up, so it's not fair to say it's all monotone. Um, once I get past that part, actually, so there's like, I think it's a bass guitar, or maybe it's just a guitar doing a groovy might be too high for a bass, it feels like guitar. There's a groovy thing happening in the background in this song. And what I mean by groovy is like... You know, like there's like some... You know, there's like that little... Suma's got good stage presence too. I was gonna look up uh Tia is she the main dancer? She is indeed the main dancer. She she feels like the main dancer. Uh her birthday just passed. Happy birthday. Sua is the sub vocalist. She's got a good say presence too. She's the family oriented one and she's the mysterious one. There's very little information on her. Um, compared to the others, I mean. Hmm. Uh, live session? No, that's a different song. I really want to watch this. This little la 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 part, it sounds like a... It sounds like a circus, you know, that... Stereotypical circus sound. So the stereotypical circus melody goes. That song, right? Oh, that melody. Oh. oh, so many things I remember all of a sudden. I wanted to look up when they debuted again because I forgot. They debuted last year. Early last year. Okay. Oh, it's not that they drew her eye 
liner that way. Her eyes are naturally very dark here, like long here. I guess Tia is uh, her name's Unji. Hajong has a very. Uh, I don't know if it's exotic to right where her, her, her features are very. Um, exotic looking. <laughs> Hold on one second. Sorry without restarting my uh my my VT hard in here. What's the slang? Sorry, I missed. What's the slang? I'm outdated with Korean slang. This cafeteria has got an espresso machine, a ramen machine. Bora. Suva. 
사실 고난생물이 어떤가요? 저희 딸 어떤가요? 저 그걸로 별명 붙였어요 뭔데요? 웰치스 말해야 되나? 웰치스 머리예요 지금 괜찮은데? 똑같지 않은 색깔? 응 아니 내가 염색하러 갔는데 응. 거기 샵에서 응. 포도 주스를 드시는 거야 아 진짜? 아니 내가 오렌지 주스를 달라고 그랬는데 응. 오렌지 주스가 다 떨어져서 응. 포도 주스를 주스 주셨는데 주스 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 내가 딱 보라색 머리를 염색한 거 아니었단 말이죠 그런데? 어? 혹시 노리신 거 아니에요? 그 어, 그러니까 살짝 포도 주스로 염색했나 싶기도 하고 오케이 그만 이제 우리 윈씨가 제 파트를 들어주시고 좀 섹시하게 불렀는지 한번 판단해주세요 최대한 한번 당돌한 여자가 되어보겠습니다 저는 이번에 외국인이 되기로 결심했습니다 아 진짜요? 진짜요? 역대급 영어가 많아요 <웃음> 한국어가 없어요 There is a lot of English in this song <웃음> 그 뭐지? 이번 저희 빌런 많이 많이 사랑해 주시고요. 이번 미니 앨범도 많은 관심과 사랑 부탁드려요. 저희의 색다른 모습을 다시 한번 볼수 있는 저희는 앨범마다 아주 색다른 모습을 보여드리지 않습니까? 맞아, 근데 이번이 제일 다르다고 저는 생각해요. 저는 앞으로도 레전드를 찍을 거라 생각하지만 <웃음> 이번이 저는 맞아. 지금까지의 저희 생각에는 제일 레전드가 아닐까. 진짜 일을 갈고 나왔다 백시 이런 얘기가 나올 수 있지만 인정합니다 저희 일 갈았어요 없어 이가 지금 아이 없습니다 네. 오케이 오케이 그 마지막으로 네 녹음할 땐 아유 롤러스 가 롤러 오케이 안녕 안녕 she's 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 got a lot of character to her she's she's very fun to listen to him um yeah Sua doesn't look like Han, but just that one second, that one moment in her in their live performance, is, I thought there was a semblance of Han. I don't think that's true. I don't, I don't think they look very similar. And here, it kind of Han has this face that he does, and it kind of looks like that. But whatever, it's beside the point. Uh, do they have a relay dance for this? Cause do they still do relay dances? Zero play. They don't have. Um, Pixie did a relay dance for Bang Bang Bang, which is a song I do know, but they didn't do one for this song. That's unfortunate. But they did. Whatever this is, Wow Studio. Pixie has been reborn. Pixie has been reborn. So this is Lola, Lola. This is Tajong. This is Tia. <laughs> this is Set Joe. That sound is really groovy. And then the guitar comes in. I think it's the guitar. Maybe it, I don't know if it's a bass or a guitar.
Dylan. So after after overcoming my um after overcoming the surprise that there was no real electric guitar in the way of Dreamcatcher at least once I got over that I think the song was starting to get on and like I said the the monotone nature of the first part part of the song was kind of not my favorite for sure. Um, it was actually making me not like the song for a while. Although, towards the end, the song is actually very catchy now that I get to hear the song multiple times. The, 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 uh, uh, once the song started getting more dynamic, once the song started getting more instrumentals, the, it started to sound better and better and better and better. Um... What about the song? How do I think? What do I think about the song? I think if the song sounds fine, I think it's a. Uh, I think the final clown, uh, the, the the what I was seeing, the circus theme, the dun 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 that 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 part sounds so similar to with that last part of the song, la 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 la, like they were doing that right. So it's just kind of. Kind of repetitive, uh, not repetitive. What's the word? It it just reminds me. It's so ingrained in my mind that that melody is the start of the circus theme. So it's a little um, out of place. I feel like for me personally, it's a personal thing. I think I bet you many people don't think of that. Um, Tia is catching my eye, but she's. That, but it's way too early for me to say, oh, I have a bias or not. She, but she catches my eye. The way she dances, the way she moves, she's the main dancer. Um, main dancers tend to attract me, it seems like, as in my eye. Um, Sua is very adorable as well, so as Tajong. Um, Sepyeol and uh, Lola. Oh, I'm getting my name, the names proper. There's not a lot of members, so it's going to be easier to remember. Uh, they sound good. Um, Yeah, it's. I think the song is good. After the third or fourth listen I had here, um, I, out of ten, I think the song is. Mm, I think it's a seven out of ten. I think it's a good song. It's not the. I don't think it's uh, that great. Maybe there's a song that I was supposed to listen to from Pixie or was recommended that I missed. Um, I thought Villain was the one. I thought it's definitely the most recent one. Um, so let me know if there's a, a song that I was supposed to listen to for the first one. Like I said, people were saying uh, uh, Dreamcatcher. Pixie had a lot of uh, um, certain elements that sounded similar to Dreamcatcher, so I, I was uh, um, intrigued by the recommendations of Pixie, plus several people have mentioned Pixie over the course of the two to three months of this channel existing. Um, I guess two and a half months. So with that said, seven out of ten, it's a solid song. It's for those that don't know, uh, out of ten, that scale is basically how much I personally like or dislike a song. 
It's completely biased. It's completely subjective. It is not objective at all. There's no consistency. It's just how I feel about a song. Um, and it may change or may not change. Who knows? <laughs> right? It's how I feel right now. How much do I like a song? I think that groovy beat that came in towards the middle and end of the song is what really... That's when the, really song, the song started really picking up for me. Um, but the first part of the song, is just, eh, it's just, it was just a little too monotone. They did the chorus verse, uh, the chorus uh, in the first verse, the opening verse of the song. And I think that was a mistake. Uh, I think it, it's, it set the tone, which is good. But they didn't need to do it twice. They didn't, I don't know. It was just too monotone. Uh, I was afraid that was going to be the whole song <laughs> after hearing the first verse. Um, with that said, um, let me know in the comment section, what do you think about Villain? Is this a good song? Is this a representative of what they were doing? Or, uh, you know, what kind of dynamic does Ella bring, the, the girl that's not here? Um, and I, don't, I don't even know what her voice sounds like, so uh, let me know what song I need to react to that has all six of the members, so I can get a good full color of, colorful idea of who is who and what's what. Um, I'm intrigued by the girls. Um, I like Seth Pierre's rap style, her voice, her tone. Um, I also like uh, Rora, um, but definitely Tia stuck out to me and Sua is also sticking out to me for their kind of charm. Um, but they're all talented, they're all lovely girls, seen from what I could tell anyway. Um, I'm intrigued by this. If there's another reaction I do with um, uh, Pixie, I'll try and squeeze in a bang, bang, bang relay trail, a relay dance here. Not this one though. I gotta get going. It's already, it's already a certain time where I should be getting ready to start my day, my work day, my real life stuff. Ugh. Um, yeah, comment down below. What should I react to next from Pixie? If you like them enough, or do you like them? Was this a song representative of what they typically sound like? What do you do? Um, do you agree with my 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 dislike for the first half of the song or first third of the song because of the monotone sound? Is it just me? Uh, does does this is this trendy? Is this what people are enjoying nowadays? And for a well, final question I can think of right now is uh, does this circusy sound kind of is it, is it a circusy melody or is it it does not remind you of that until uh, at all and then this is me being very very um uh, picky about it i don't know uh, what the word is so with that said uh if you haven't already uh please like the video if you want to see more from pixie if you want to see more from me because it helps the the algorithms and it helps me understand if there's more people looking at pixie the more people want to watch more pixie the more i should be reacting to pixie right so that that's uh and the more exposure the video has the more likely uh people will watch it and if you haven't already please subscribe to the channel helps me understand you guys enjoy the content and it makes me keeps me motivated to make the next one um and with that said finally finally have a good morning good evening good day wherever you are whatever time it is take care of yourselves be safe, and I'll see you next time. Hopefully. Bye.